I'm Shelzana with Showstream and she's just played for Ox Off Axes on the uh, Woodland stage. It's M Woods, how are you doing? Hello, I'm very shy. <laughs> no. I'm liking the dress up. We're, we're vintage shopping. Uh, so how was that for you? That was so good actually. It was beautiful. It started raining now, but thankfully we found it was not raining for the whole set. Stop the rain just for us. Everyone was really impressed with your band as well. They were like, wow, good, what a I'm good glad. sound. It was amazing. There was little kids dancing about, playing in puddles. That's going to be me later, rolling about in it. The full festival experience. Are you going to get involved, are you? Oh, absolutely. I will be, yeah, this is not going to stay this colour for long. Well, you got a hat now, though, and yeah, I'm really pleased it. that you found something a native. A Scottish hat here. <laughs> I actually really love this one, though. I'm Living in a oh. gangster's paradise. It really is rocking. I think you could. Are oh, you rock that? Yeah. Yeah. What? What no, is your wardrobe like? Because I can imagine Ooh. it is quite expansive. And it's very full of fur coats. Um. What else? Uh, fur coats, leopard print, really trashy, a bit classy. And my yeah. favourite look. <laughs> trashy but classy, sweetie. Yeah, it's about giving that tentative glimpse, but not too much, yeah, because we're classy. Yeah, because like sometimes when I'm walking about, like I went up, did a show in Inverness, and I had like um, bell bottoms on. I don't know if they were leopard print or bright red velvet le uh, bell bottoms, and I had like he uh, silver sparkly heels, and I was walking around, and they did not know what was going on. This man came up to me in the street, and he was like, Hello, can I get a kiss? And I was like, excuse me, no, thank you. They're friendly north of the border, aren't they? Yeah, I know. A bit too <laughs> friendly, I think. A bit too friendly. So where's Bubbles today? Bubbles the dog. Bubbles is barred from Kendall Collins. Oh, blimey, no pets she's allowed. She's actually with my gran. I dropped her off yesterday, so she's getting a lot of ham, a lot of TLC. Is that the tree? Ham. Most of, well, any kind of meat, to be honest. She loves coffee, but one time she got a bit too buzzed and it scared me a bit so <laughs> not anymore no more coffee for bubbles and i noticed that you've been on pledge music haven't you looking yeah. for funding uh, releases and stuff like that and it's it's been really successful right yeah we got the funding thankfully uh, the beautiful people of the world kindly donated thanking you yes, thank you praise the lord brian wilson <laughs> um yeah they the we got like a hundred 23% or something like that. Amazing. Smashed we it. We funded, smashed it at the park. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and yeah, uh, so we're in recording the record at the minute. Um, we've had a few attempts and I'm very, very fussy and very picky. So like a lot of it has been like, that's great, but no. <laughs> Start again. So what's it sounding like? Can you give us any clues? Ooh, I've changed a bit from the live set. Um, yeah, I don't actually know, to be honest. Sounds great. <laughs> Sounds For those that have great. not heard your music, how would you describe your genre? Hmm, I would say it is the quality of a fine wine, but Ooh. the satisfaction of a late night kebab. Oh, lovely. I'm now thinking wines. What type of wine would you be? What kind well, of grape would you be? Mm, How am I doing this? Very fruity, <laughs> very... A wee bit spiced, a wee bit spiced, maybe mulled wine. Oh, You know, a little spicy wine. Yeah, I can imagine you being that little gal. hot number. You know what I mean? <laughs> that little hot aftertaste. Oh, yeah. Buck fat. It's actually buck fast wine. I'm not going to lie. Does it come in a brown paper bag? Yeah, it definitely With a does. battered Mars bar? Absolutely. <laughs> well, I'm brew. I'm honestly absolutely outraged. I actually have stored a few... Like, I bought a few cases. I've drank most of them. I've got one case left that I'm opening on the day I get my firstborn child. And when... I don't know. When they're 21. Really, really special occasions. When yeah. they're 21, yeah, they get a case of Iron Brew original. Well, not a whole case. They're only in a can. <laughs> if the rest is for me. <laughs> so, yeah. And getting back to the album, are you recording anywhere in particular at the minute? What are you doing? How are you putting it together? So, yeah, I was. So, we actually recorded. Like, I went away, but, like, got a cabin. We recorded it ourselves. But I was. Like, I changed a lot of things. I didn't really hear it sounding like that. So, 
it was kind of more like a live album that we got there which I probably won't release but it's good to like I feel like it's always a process things are always changing and if you don't listen to it and be like fuck yes can you swear in this you've done it now fuck yes it's happened <laughs> just beep it out put like cat noises over it or something if you're not allowed I know <laughs> um, yeah so I, we started that then I've kind of started again and then I was recording with Marcus Mackay he drums for Catherine Joseph and he drums and he plays in Outlines the new band with like James from Twilight Sad and um, so he Super is my next door neighbour and I literally like look out my back window and his studio is there so like I can literally go across in my jammies and record so I've started recording a bit with him but he's getting really busy now so I'm kind of finishing the rest of it with this dude Brendan Moon who's really cool and a really nice studio and yeah so it's kind of like a collaboration from lots of different people but it will sound banging so um, obviously I stalked you a little bit online. Oh, yeah, good. You seem to have crazy fans. Like they're really dedicated. They send you stuff. So, honestly, someone knitted me seven blankets. Seven knitted blankets. How long does that take to knit a blanket? Like surely that's like months. It's like crochet. I thought was quite yeah. difficult as well. But Not that I'm literally like... Bubbles loves it. She loves it so much. She that's her bed now. So she has her bed on See, top of my <laughs> bed with the blankets on her bed. She loves it. She just buries inside <laughs> all the blankets. Before I let you go, Scottish scene is really kicking at the moment. There's loads yeah, of people. Oh, yeah. I mean, more than normal. There's always loads of great music coming from Scotland, but the minute there seems to be a load of bands just doing really well. Loads of people talking in the music industry about the Scottish scene at the minute. Uh, who are you really digging? Who should we check out? Who Ooh. is really impressing you? So my friend, I actually played with my pal Declan Wells here last year. I would say if you have not checked out Barry James O'Neill, you're missing out on life. A small pleasure in life, Barry James O'Neill. He's the, I would say definitely, he's one of my most favorite musicians in the world, never mind Scotland. Um, I would also say Kitty, she is really cool. She's like jazzy and soul and she plays keys and she's got a beautiful, beautiful set of pipes on her. Set of pipes. Set of pipes, oh yeah. Proper Scottish phrase, that. <laughs> and yeah, like, I don't know, there's so many people, that's I'm trying to think, like, who's all my pals? Oh, they'll all be raging that I've not said them. Fantees, shout it to the Fantees. Yeah. There's just so many. The Scottish showcase at Great Escape this year was going off. That's Ninth insane, Wave, isn't it? It's mad. you know, the vegan leather, the cool, Yeah, yeah. Just so many bands, so it's too many, I can't keep up. It's just sweaty. But it's good though. Oh, there's a band. Pams. That's the one. New, yeah. where's that? No, there's no hat with a palm tree on it. Right, well, we're going to go hat shopping, aren't we? Yeah, we are. I'm ready. I think I'm done with this one. Yeah, try on another one. You've not even tried on. You want this penguin? I, I'm not sure it's me. What would you do if a what penguin do you walked into your room? What would be your first reaction? I would just try and hug it, and it probably wouldn't want to hug me, and it would run away at pace. Smart. You know, I mean, it's, it's got to be a temperature differential, is it? It's warm yeah, that's by. True. Yeah, yeah. I'd probably like buy a fridge, stick it ask in no it, ask no questions, but and Google how to look after a penguin. But if you alert someone, someone will come and take it. Away. Google fixes everything, honestly. I'm Shelzana with Showstream at Kennel Calling. Thanks, Em. Thank Let's you. Let's go guys. shopping. Yeah.